So this entire thing is the Stewart Family Plaza. It's a gathering place and it's this incredible vertical garden, this 208 foot long, 30 feet high, laser cut steel lattice that will become a living garden as the ivy and the greenery grows up and in the years to come. The Sheldon Arts Foundation kicked off a capital campaign in 2014 and the improvement here on our west side of our building was a big part of that. We realized with the opening of Jack Galmesh Commons behind us that there needed to be a way for people to move from Washington down to SLU. We wanted to connect the Sheldon to those spaces. So over a period of time, the idea of this vertical garden really came into shape. The reason it's taken so long is because nothing like this has ever been built before. We're really thinking of it um, not just as architecture, but as a kind of sculpture as well. So we wanted something that would provide visual interest and something that had a kind of sympathy to the kind of organic nature of the landscape itself. We were looking at something that could produce an appearance of curvature in the mesh pattern, um, but we were doing that with a, a, a tension structure, so something that had to be pulled taut, almost like a rubber band. So we actually developed a computer algorithm to help us draw the, the pattern itself. And then we also use new fabrication technologies that allow us to translate directly those computer files into a built structure. So we drew the mesh pattern itself and then handed it to a fabricator who directly laser cut the pattern out of steel. And then those large panels get installed in place and welded together. So the vines planted on the vertical garden are designed to, uh, they're gonna follow the shape of the, of the vertical garden uh, pattern. And you're gonna be able to see the vertical screen defined by greenery. So all the plants here on Stewart Family Plaza are Missouri natives. We work closely with the Missouri Botanical Gardens to select plants that could both tolerate the extremes of Missouri climate and were native to the state, but were also beautiful because we wanted this space to be inviting and beautiful at the same time. One of the main reasons to use native plants is that the birds and bees and, and other pollinators don't react the same to non-native plants. And so generally speaking, in our urban environments, we want to have enough plants that the pollinators can react to. The ecological value of this project is that we're capturing the stored water runoff into rain gardens that prevents that same water from going into the combined sewer and having uh, sewer overflows. We worked with uh, MSD Project Clear to create these rain gardens that are run around the perimeter of the whole project to gather and collect rainwater and then let it seep into the water table naturally at a slow pace. So no flooding, we reclaim that water as best we can to water these, uh, these plants and these natives. In terms of the, the actual physical ground, about half of it is paving and the other half is actually landscape. So we're also helping to do things that are mitigating some of the bigger climate issues that we have. So, we're incorporating a lot of vegetation, but we're also doing things like water management on the site as well, reduce things like urban heat island effects and, and those sorts of issues. I think it's a very direct project, but it also has a much larger impact as well. You know, this plaza represents a collective effort on the part of the Sheldon Arts Foundation, all of our board members, and a whole lot of donors, a lot of generous people in this community who have worked together to find the means to make this possible for everyone in our community to enjoy. This is a public space. This is open to the city of St. Louis. It's like any other sidewalk in town. You are welcome to come and enjoy this space anytime, day or night.